I do just want to take a quick moment just to show you how we can actually link these two separate data types together now. So if I was to open up my page drop down here, I've just created a blank page, which I've called my home page. And let's say I want to add a repeating group onto my home page. And this is going to display a list of posts within my Instagram home feed. I'm going to set my type of content of this repeating group to of course be a post. And now let's just say I want to load all of the posts within my application. I can perform a search for all of the posts and that's going to load every single post that's ever been published on our platform. And then within my repeating group, let's say I'd like to actually display the image of our post content. I'm going to just quickly update the number of rows to be two and I'll add in an image element here. And now because our data type for our image is split from the actual post that it sits within, I'm going to need to insert dynamic data. And the way I can display this is by performing a search in our database for the post content where the original post equals the same value as the current sales post in our repeating group. And then I would like to just display the first item in our database because there will only be one item where the image itself is the same value as the current sales post. And from there, I just like to display the actual image that has been stored within that field. And that is how you can link your data types together and display that information within your repeating group on the homepage.